hailing from Detroit, residing in Bel Air, the illusionist Jarek 120. And we are back here on the West Coast Wrestling Connection. Blake Chadwick, Brian Zane, and once again, continuing his recruiting in the WCWC, top choice, Todd Royce. You know, it's the talk of the wrestling world now from after to Alvarez. Everyone is trying to figure out who is going to be the first member of the top choice collective. As a matter of fact, I understand maybe Brian Zane can... Uh, can, uh, can uh, verify this or not, but I understand in an upcoming edition of Wrestling with Regret, he's going to do the top eight potential clients for Todd Royce. Well, you know what? I get a lot of uh, people pitching me ideas for the show, and that's one of them. So it remains to be seen if we see the top eight for Todd Royce, but we know Jarek 120 likely on that list. Jarek 120 is at the very top of that list for sure. This man brings so much to the table, and then he rips the tablecloth right out from underneath it. No honorable mention there for Jarek 120, who's really done, he's really impressed me and a lot of the WCWC faithful, and certainly Todd Roy, since his debut a few months ago. But he's got a tall order ahead of him against Axton Ray. And let's see what the Renegade can bring to the table against and the Magic Man. And his opponent, he is the Renegade, Axton Ray. Does that make him a Renegade? I'm just asking. What? I don't know. Play on words. Come on, people. And I have to ask you here, Todd. You're out. Obviously taking a look at Jarek 120. But what do you think of Axton Ray? Well, what I think of Axton Ray right now is that that man has butterflies in his stomach. He's got to have nerves. He's got to be uh, on edge right now, realizing that I'm out here looking. I'm scouting. Um, he doesn't really have a lot to worry about. I'm not that interested in him. Definitely, though. Definitely out here for Jarek. If he pulls off a win over Jarek, you might change your mind. If he pulls out a win over Jarek, that would be magic. As referee Aubrey Edwards is assigned to this contest, Axon Ray one on one with Jarek 120. Fast pace to start here. Axon Ray goes for the haymaker. Jarek goes for a roundhouse as these two staying one step ahead of the other. Wow, look at this. Nice head scissors takeover, but Jarek lands on his feet. Oh, oh, oh. And we've got a standoff. That woke this crowd up. Look at the athleticism of Jarek 120 here, though. Well, look at the athleticism of Axon Ray. Yeah. Takes two to tango, Todd. Jarek 120 has had an incredible record ever since his debut in the WCWC. Axon Ray still looking for that signature victory. And Ray tries to pop up Hurricane Rana. And the deep arm drag takedown. Axon Ray with his working boots on tonight. Hoist. And Jarek 120 being incredibly smart, taking a, a, a seat on a Hillbilly Gym out there. I thought it was Henry Godwin. I thought it was Santa. But nonetheless, Axon Ray, the fake out on the apron. Oh, oh and look at Ray. Ray. Turn around. Lands in the handstand. Now, Todd, like, how could you not be impressed with Axon Ray and that agility, that ability to think on your feet like that? Look, the man's a great athlete. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say he's not, but he's just not, he's not top choice. Let's put it that way. This could be a top choice maneuver right now. Trying to go for a suplex on the hardest part of the ring. Nice job by Jarek to adjust his weight to put himself back inside the ring. And now Jarek hits the ropes, trying to build some steam, and Axton flips right on in. Ducks underneath it, Axton Ray with a back elbow. Oh, look at that. Flurry of attacks by Axton. Kicks him off as Axton Ray with maybe his most impressive performance of the day. Wow. wow! Tries the blockbuster, taking a page out of Marcus Malone's playbook. Two! He tried it, he got it, but that was not enough to put Jarek away just yet. And a two and a half was as Axton Ray here. Whoa! Looks like he's going for an Olympic slam. With a pump handle for good measure. Turns him around, Axton Ray, that leaping knee, and Just Jarek. Oof. Comes right back with a big kick. There's so much action here. These two men trying so hard to impress me. I mean, they've been going uh, a mile a minute the entirety of this matchup here, but something's got to give, and one of these guys has got to go down. And he turns him inside out with the clothesline. Axon Ray is down. Jarek 120 is down. This fast-paced, high-intensity encounter hanging in the balance here. Got to believe that whoever wins this match will get a lot of uh, momentum in the WCWC and might curry the favor of Mr. Royce. They could be looking at a guy like Mick Drake in his legacy championship as a possible future contender right here. Well, we would definitely be looking at a, a possible top contendership for Jarek 120. That's uh, right, right off the bat. If Jarek 120 does the right thing, does the smart thing, 
and uh, and would take me on as a manager, which I th I, he's got to be considering. So, Todd, I have to ask you, what's oh. the next step in the process of recruiting a guy like Jarrett? Well, right now, it's uh, once again, it's it's about getting everything straightened out. It's about getting everything that I can offer him. I can offer him uh, shots in Vegas. I can offer him uh, all sorts of magic shows and everything that he needs to do, everything he wants to do to succeed, and I can guarantee him. Now, Todd Booby, well, here we actually go. There's a cover, one, two, and a near fall for Ray after the German suplex. Todd Booby, have you actually talked to Jarek yet, or are you just out here scouting him from uh, our perspective? He knows I'm out here. They, everybody knows, everybody, everybody in WCW, like I said, it's the talk of the wrestling world. It's the talk of the locker room. Everyone knows why I'm here, what I'm looking for. Everyone knows that I've contacted people that I'm very interested in. They're all waiting with bated breath to find out if they've made the cut. And X and Ray here in a very precarious position. What is he possibly going to do here? Is he going for a belly to back off the top? That could be devastating. Wait. Whoa! Wow. Where did those cards come from? I'm not sure I want to know. As Ax and Ray now, he's tied into the trio. Whoa. What's he got going on here? What magic will he pull off? Oh, oh. oh my God. Innovative move. The leg drop out of the trio. Whoa. Ax and Ray is laid out. He did. This is a one of a life, once in a lifetime athlete is Jarek 120 right there. Look at this man. And it looks like Axton Ray has entered the disturbed reality of Jarek 120. And Axton looks to be on Dream Street here, puts those hands oh. up, and there he gets knocked out on his feet. One, two, three, and Jarek 120 does it again. The winner of this match, Jarek 120. 20. Sleight of hand and pure magic right there. So Todd Royce, you have to be very impressed with Jarek 120 getting the win here over Axton Ray. There's not a person with a set of eyes who isn't impressed with Jarek 120 right now. I mean, I'm speechless. He's got the magic spell on me, on his opponent Axton Ray, and it's been everybody else in WCWC. I just don't know what to make of it. He's certainly, he's racked up an impressive Bunch of wins lately, and he just has another one there with his magic skills. Jarek appears to be very pleased with his victory over Axton Ray. As the magic man will live to fight another day and maybe finally get himself in a championship position here in the West Coast Wrestling Connection. But speaking of championship position, the legacy title is coming up next. And for the very first time, the former member of the Wrecking Crew, Mike Camden, gets his hands on Mick Drake. Something's got to give as these two alphas are ready to collide in this week's main event on the WCWC. Revenge could be on the mind of Camden.